I'm here in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Now, we get recommendations for Triple D joints from a lot of people. But in particular, when your crew that shoots Triple D, hold on, this crew right here, when they tell you that you got to come check out a pizza joint that's right down the street from their house, well, you know I'm there. This is Red Wagon Pizza. <laughs> On me pizza. It's a different kind of pizza joint. So neighborhood, so right. Dropping a Popeye. I kind of feel like you're inserting yourself into someone's family tradition. Because you kind of are. One that Peter Campbell's grandparents started long ago. That's your grandfather. That's my Nana in the middle and my mom on the far left. In the late 40s, Pop Pop would do these pizza parties in his basement. And the community would come out. And Peter picked up where his grandpa left off when he opened the doors here in 2014. We forge pizzas. I don't know what he's on. 30 seconds on a red wagon. The red wagon pizza is the best pizza. Peppers, the spice, the sauce, the cheese, it's just the most tasty piece of pizza I've ever encountered. All right, Pete, let's make the magic dough. Cold water. Then we take day-old dough. The mother. Tear apart the dough in the water and get the water nice and milky. Dry active yeast. The flour is a heritage wheat. We'll hit this on one. We'll scrape the bowl after two and a half minutes. Run it again for two and a half minutes. Then we'll throw in salt, cover it, let it rest for 30. Run the mixer for about another five minutes. Grab a hunk of dough. Just make sure that it'll stretch and it's nice and thin. You guys understand what's happening here? If you go and stretch it and it splits open, then it hasn't built the gluten. And it has to be mixed a little bit more. Bring it out. Let it rest for 24 hours. Portion it. Welcome to carnivore hour. I'm Guy, and this is Pedro. Now we're into making the sausage. Pork butt, it's all cubed up. Bacon, super sada. We have garlic, onion, fennel powder, salt, ground pepper. But no hen white. I don't know. What's a hen white? Oh, about two or three pounds. <laughs> I think we might be cousins. We're going to let it cure overnight in the okay. cooler. And then in the morning, we grind it, put it on sheet trays, and cook it off in the oven. All the pies are at 14 inches. House-made sauce, a blend of half mozzarella and half provolone. Let me bring in the real pro. Buck, come on in here for a second. This is Buck, the older brother. Pete, why don't we just have you step oh. out for a little yeah, bit? Yeah, I don't know. It was nice I, having you on the show. I'm Thanks, wondering Pete. if we shouldn't start over. <laughs> he just left the building. <laughs> come on over, Pete. <laughs> it's a little oblong. <laughs> we can work on your technique a little bit. Thank you, Buck. We like having you. All right. <laughs> House sausage, banana peppers. Then we take the soppressata, we slice it in a ribbon. 90 seconds comes out, we'll slice it up. What do we throw in here? Buzzed up crushed red pepper. This is a house made garlic salt, fig infused balsamic. There you go, red wagon pizza. Typically they're round. <laughs> oh, dynamite. Everything you're doing in the pizza is balanced. Fresh made sausage, you've got handmade dough, you've got homemade sauce, you got a nice little acid bite in there coming from the banana pepper, a little touch of the chili flake. It's an artisan pizza, man. Everybody at home right now is going, oh, I want a bite of that pizza, because it's a real deal. Fantastic. Thank you. Mm. You can tell the care that goes into it when you take that first bite. It has some sweet, it has some spice, it has a little kick. I have red wagon socks. <laughs> Check it. What up? It's me. Really as crazy as he sounds. It's pretty crazy. It's hard to taper back the pizzazz. I got a lot of pizzazz in me. He burns a lot of octane, doesn't he? Yeah. <laughs> he has all the right energy about it. Yeah. Uh, he wants it to be family oriented. He wants it to be scratch made. Anything you order is going to be great. Two tortellinis walk into the window. The tortellini looks like it should be a four star restaurant. Homemade pasta. They make the ricotta. Now we're going to make the ricotta. Yeah, two gallons, whole milk, heavy cream. Lemon juice, apple cider vinegar, and we're going to give it a little heat. It's low heat. We're going to separate the curd from the whey. You'll run it through the cheesecloth. Hang it in the cooler overnight. You're going for a really dry ricotta. That's right. Now we're going to make the spinach puree. Start with ice, blanched spinach, sauteed garlic, onion, salt, pepper, and a wee bit of oil. That I like. Boom. That now mixed with ricotta into the yes. piping bag. You also make the pasta? Oh, yeah. You're killing me. This is not a one-bite tortellini. All right, so you ready for this, homie? See you, Holmes. So we have the spinach ricotta at the top. Drop the thumbs. Lean it forward right. so you get the scoop. And boom. You're a gangster. What up, dog? <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to drop the tortellinis that we just made. We're going to reduce some white wine and a cheesy bechamel. Now add the ham, 
fresh peas. Tortellini. We're going to reduce this down a little bit more. Delicately dry. A little oil, our gremolata. What's in the gremolata? Parmesan, a red pepper flake, and oregano. Beautiful looking plate. Nice and pillowy. It's fantastic. We play full speed. You only have a 10. Like the knob got broken at 10. Outstanding. Fabulous. I would not expect a tortellini that good to be found at a pizza place. It's the place you have to go. You just have to try it. Phenomenal. It comes from a great foundation. It's like a storybook. Thank you. I love it.